One, two, three, four. Look down at your stomach right now. That's right, look down. If you can't see any abs, you're eating enough. Coach Greg, and if you're a hard gainer, you can't build muscle, this video is for you. We're gonna be going over the five biggest hard gainer muscle building mistakes. Your ability to add muscle like most things, height, strength, intelligence, it forms a bell curve where some people find it very easy while others find it very hard, with most people being somewhere in the middle. We refer to these people on the left side of the bell curve as being hard gainers. And many people are gonna say, there's no such thing as a hard gainer. They just don't eat enough or they don't have the right training program and so on, but this is not true. We all know that some people go to the gym and have a very difficult time putting on muscle while others, they seem to just show up and they grow like weeds. And so today's video is dedicated to the hard gainers of the world out there. But keep in mind, if you're an easy gainer and you apply these principles, you're probably also gonna gain more muscle as well. And of the five tips, I do personally believe that tip number five is the most important, but we're gonna start with tip number one. Not training long enough, nor with enough consistency. Do you ever notice that most hard gainers are beginners? That there's not a lot of intermediate or advanced lifters out there who are saying they're hard gainers? Well, the reason is because most people who are hard gainers aren't actually hard gainers after all. They just lack the consistency and the time required to put in the work to get the results that they need. Think of it. It takes one to two years of consistent, dedicated training to even find out whether or not you're a hard gainer or not. You can't show up to the gym on day one and say, I'm a hard gainer. Look how skinny I am. You don't know. You might join the gym, train for a year, and put on a shit ton of muscle. You're therefore an easy gainer. And so most people complaining that they're hard gainers, they're just doing that to save their ego. Oh, it's not my fault. I'm a hard gainer. Meanwhile, they join the gym on New Year's Day and they go about five times and quit and say, I'm a hard gainer. It's just not in the cards for me. And just like it takes consistency to burn fat to lose weight, it's 10 times harder when your goal is to build muscle. Anyone can diet, crash diet, lose 10 plus pounds in a month, no problem. But to add 10 plus pounds of muscle, it's gonna take the majority of people a year or more just to get those same results. And so we all know just how hard it is to lose weight. Think of how many people yo-yo diet, they're trying to lose weight, and so knowing it's 10 times harder to build muscle than to lose weight, and does that not show just how important a consistent and stick to this attitude really is? And by stick to this, I mean persistent, as in continuing to try, not giving up, and sticking to itness. And so if you're a hard gainer, remember this. It's gonna take time. You're not gonna see the results overnight. You need to stick to it, keep going, don't give up, and in a couple of years, you're gonna see the results. Mistake number two, you're training too easy. Yeah, you watch a bunch of natural lifters get up on YouTube saying, if you train to failure, if you try too hard, you're not gonna grow because your brain can't recover, there's too many neural adaptations, you're overtraining, you just won't grow. So you're convinced to half-ass it in the gym, and so you half-ass it. Then you wonder, why am I not making the results? And you say, ah, it's because I'm natural. All those people with muscle, all of them are on PDs. Truth is, they're not. You're not putting in the effort, not putting in the work. You're going through the motions, saving reps in the tank, not pushing yourself through that pain barrier and expecting to get the same results as those who are training harder than last time. If you are in fact a hard gainer, really a hard gainer, you need to train hard. How hard? Harder than freaking last time. Can you be more specific, Coach Greg? Yes, harder than the time before. The last day you worked out, harder than that. Think back to the last time you went to the gym. Now, the next time you go, harder than that. Is that complicated? Do you understand you get it? And don't give me that, oh, I just joined the gym, I'm a beginner, I can't train hard, I need to go easy. If you know you're a hard gainer, by definition, you can't be a beginner because beginners don't know they're hard gainers. Beginners don't know yet whether they're hard gainers or not. 
It takes time. It takes time to discover you can't build muscle. You can't join the gym and say, I'm a hard gainer. What do I do? Hard gainers are those who have been to the gym long enough trying and are not making their results. And so do you actually fit into that category? Are you actually a hard gainer? Chances are you're probably not. Third biggest mistake. Your diet's crap, it's shit sucks. And what does a shitty diet look like? Well, for some people it could be not eating enough. And if you're watching this before running out to Wendy's, people who are not eating enough, it's about 5% of the population. So look down at your stomach right now. That's right, look down. If you can't see any abs, you're eating enough. Simple. If you don't see abs, you're probably eating enough. Does that make sense? You're thinking, oh, I don't eat enough. I can't put on any muscle. If you're above 20% body fat, rather than thinking you need to eat more, you should probably be eating less. You've been told, eat big to get big. The truth is, if you eat big, you're gonna get big and fat. Not the kind of big you were looking for. You can't just shove in more fast food and take weight gainer shakes, eating candies and chips and think, oh, I'm now gonna build muscle. The quality of the food you're eating is paramount. You should be aiming to eat four to five meals a day with protein, with about one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Also, don't forget about fruits and vegetables. Eat from all four food groups. You need to take in the correct micronutrients, vitamins, antioxidants, and so on. Forget going keto or carnivore. Sure, it worked for Tristan Lee, but last I checked, you're not a five foot two Asian with freaky genetics. And so rather than having an eat big to get big quantity over quality attitude towards your food consumption, try to eat healthy from all four food groups four to five meals a day, eating at maintenance or in a slight surplus if in fact you're not overweight. And if you are overweight, perhaps you're skinny fat, you've got a lot of extra body fat and not a lot of muscle, that does not mean you're a hard gainer. Doesn't mean that at all. And so eating even more calories, that is not going to benefit you building muscle. It's just gonna cause you to gain even more unwanted fat. So would you rather be skinny fat or skinny fatter? Try eating in a slight calorie deficit, get leaner, and build muscle at the same damn time. Can you guess number five yet? I haven't stated it yet. Do you know what number five is going to be? If you haven't guessed it yet, try to predict in the comment section, what is the fifth factor going to be? The most important factor to not being a hard gainer. What can get you out of that problem? And number four, the fourth biggest mistake, Ego lifting with bad form. That's right, way too many people think you need to throw on the biggest weight possible. The heavier the weight, the more muscle it's gonna build. The first bike race I ever did, the Jeux d'Acadie, I showed up and said, wow, it's a race. Well, I'm going to use the biggest gear on my bike the entire race because that's the biggest gear. I'm going to go the fastest. Well, when I went up the hill, I'm barely turning the pedals and sure enough, I don't win the race and I get off the bike, legs are cramping. Soon learned that is not the way. You're supposed to spin, pedal, 90, 100 cadence. And so I learned how to properly shift gears and use the bike's gearing to my advantage. Didn't know that, I was young as a kid. And so many people go to the gym, they don't know, they don't realize this. They're thinking, well, the heavier the weight, the more muscle it's gonna build because heavy weights build big muscles. And so they put on three plates aside on the squat. One, two, three, four. Form looks horrible, risking injury, ego lifting, and it's not doing hardly a thing to help you build muscle. Meanwhile, if you had to put just one plate, 135 pounds in the bar, did a set of 12 to 15 with proper time under tension, focused on form, mind-muscle connection, you're going to build muscle. And for some reason, this problem is way more prevalent among males than among females. Go to the gym, see younger people lifting. Most of the time, they're trying to show off, outlift each other. Females completely different. They're usually using lighter weights, trying to have better form. And so if you're trying to build the most muscle possible, try to stick to the rep range of somewhere between 10 and 15 for the most part, perhaps a little bit more on some sets. But if you stick to the 10 to 15 rep range, it's certainly gonna allow you to have better form, not ego lift, concentrate on your technique, have better mind muscle connection, which will ultimately allow you to build more muscle. And number five, the biggest mistake that hard gainers make of all, of all time, they don't watch Coach Greg. 
Of course, my older subs know this. There's a direct correlation between the amount of body fat dropped by watching Coach Rag and increases in muscle mass. It's been proven through meta-analysis, baby Nikki and Gert, that's right, my cat and pig, they were in on the study. It showed clear and concise correlation. If you watch more Coach Greg videos, you will no longer be a hard gainer. You will learn all the tricks of the trade, all the tools, all the secrets, what you need to do in the gym, what you need to do in the kitchen to help you put muscle on and lose weight. Also, don't forget, join my newsletter. We're giving away five free recipes. Also, working on free diet programs free training program free as in it doesn't cost you anything gonna give it to you for joining the newsletter you can then get the free program use it yourself to get you out of being a hard gainer you're gonna put on muscle get in better shape for the rest of your life also we have weekly free giveaways that's right we give away free shit every single week just for joining the newsletter subscription list and so join the close to 200,000 newsletter subscribers by clicking the link in the description also as you see in the back Harder than last time supplements. I feel like a weatherman. Buy this, buy that pre-workout protein powder. Also, please watch the bloops. That top one, watch it right now. Then later on tonight, probably watch the bottom one. Subscribe and click the bell button to get notified so you can watch it right away. Comment for the algorithm so that everyone has to watch it because everyone gets notified. The more algorithm posts, the better. And until next time, buy my freaking cookbook. I'm out.